c'est déjà la température. La dans... That's the temperature, the density. And now we're going into the first layers inside the blanket of snow. Minus 3, minus 3.5. As a white blanket of snow begins to cover the roof of Europe, here near the glacier of Les Deux Alpes at 3,200 meters, the weekly measurements taken by scientists like Jean-Pierre de Dieu show the reality of climate change. Here in the Alps, the verdict on climate change is unequivocal. There's really a split compared to the conditions we were able to observe as little as 20 years ago. It concerns the snow. The glaciers are losing surface area and volume. So we need to follow it closely with satellites, as they can take over from the ground measurements, which are only limited. Less snowfall and higher summer temperatures point at the impact of greenhouse gases. In 2015, CO2 levels hit 400 parts per million, their highest level in around 3 million years. With the launch of ESA's Earth observation satellites and their different instruments, scientists can detect the smallest changes in our atmosphere, land and oceans. Thanks to optical and radar satellite data, Researchers like Fanny Brun can see how the Himalayas are responding to a warming planet. With these new satellites, we have a much higher resolution, so we can not only evaluate the mass of the glacier again, but we can also see in detail the areas where the glacier is becoming thinner and subsiding. And that's very interesting for us because we can understand the processes behind it. And because the Earth works like a closed circuit, the melting of glaciers and ice caps translates into another worrying phenomenon, the rise in sea levels. Here, as the waves break onto the beach of Collioure in the south of France, satellite altimetry specialist Annie Casanova shows us a graph pointing at an average rise of 3.3 millimeters per year. This map shows the different variation in sea level over the past 23 years. Where the map shows orange and red, it means the sea is rising faster than average. And here in the Western Pacific, the sea has risen up to four times faster than average. ESA launched its climate change initiative in 2009, using long-term satellite data to monitor the climate and help predict the effects of a changing climate. Today, thanks to space technologies and the ever larger and more accurate data they generate, Scientists have good tools to give their diagnostic. The Earth's climate is changing, and fast, too fast. And world leaders meeting at the COP21 in Paris took the message and pushed ahead with a global deal to keep global warming below the two degrees Celsius. Only time will tell if this is enough to save our planet.